What we're demonstrating here is using collaborative robots to do an inspection of an aircraft fuselage. They're collaborative robots not just because we have two robots working together, but also because they can work closely with humans without having any kind of a safety or an exclusion zone around them. The type of inspection that they're doing is what we call line scan thermography. So it's different than conventional thermography where you heat a large area and then you inspect one area at a time. This is actually a moving inspection that's very well suited to the use of robotics. Before we actually do a scan, we use an optical three-dimensional scanner that allows us to make a surface map of the fuselage that allows us to know exactly where it is in space and where it is relative to the robots. And then we put a line of heat on the surface and we move the line at a constant speed. We follow behind it with the infrared camera, also at the same speed at a fixed distance behind the heating line. What that allows us to do is to look for defects that are under the skin at various depths of the composite fuselage. From the thermal information, we can tell what the depth and size of that defect might be. The goal of this project is to increase the rate of inspection and the accuracy of the inspection that's currently going on, whether that's done uh, in the manufacturing environment right after the fuselages would be made, or if it's done at a later time during in-service inspection of the aircraft. Currently, most inspections are done on a point-by-point -point basis. You will inspect a small area, you'll move that inspection system over the surface of the aircraft either manually or with some kind of a scanning system. This is designed to speed that process up but still get the same accuracy. The main advantage is repeatability. If you need to go back to an inspection location again, either to reinspect or with another technique, having the robots do it allows you to go back very accurately. You can now cover large areas, you can handle the complex curves of the aircraft, but in a much more rapid fashion. It can autonomously go off and do the inspection once it's been programmed, and we're ensuring 100% coverage. One of the other things that we're working towards is the ability to automatically map the data that we collect to an image of the fuselage. That will ensure the long-term durability of those vehicles as they fly, and have a long-term digital record of that. The ultimate goal is to increase the safety of air travel.